the, the Drake does have over the Goliath, which it kind of needs, is it does have a spotter because without the spotter, you've only got 18-4. Goliath has a slightly longer range than that. All right, guys, as this game starts off, I'm going to go ahead and run a multiplayer ad. If you guys could hit the button. Actually, let's see if it triggers. Okay, I can't do it at this moment. Never mind. Please ignore. Miss you till the day. That's okay. I with the fifty dollars um, and tiltify, I kind of give you guys exceptions for actually having to select the things. So I am gonna do the Vermont No HUD game, and then I will play the Lightning. Drop zone, you are you are just intent on making me play the Lightning, even though I really don't play it well. I'm looking for the spray for my glasses, but my desk is messy and I can't see it. Got a job, a life, and a family. I promise my heart will never have a place for the oh, I should. Be. That was weird. So when I play the Drake and I play the Goliath, I don't like to play the middle of the map. You're way too prone uh, to getting big hits on both sides. So typically speaking, I will pick a side and stick to that. That way that you're only having to kind of angle against one side. He turned in. Lucky bastard. Um, so like, even if I'd spawned mid, I would have decided to track to one side. Because either you need to use islands to block getting shot on both sides. Or you need to... Um, Essentially positioned so you, you can only get one shot of by one side. That is the reason we always put up Hydro early. Uh, 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 I'm not taking that Pete for you. That is all yours, buddy. I did. Yes, I got forced to play a Mikasa game, and I hated every minute of it. For once in my once in my Mikasa career, I actually got a decent dispersion, but right before the shells hit, my teammate killed it. And I was like, oh, God. Now, another thing with the torpedoes is they're, you know, you're using them as aerial denial torpedoes. You are not trying to um, use them as, like, primary weapons. They do, they are moderately long, so you got about 10Ks on them. But, uh, you know, we can see that the Missouri is, is going to turn back. There's nothing really else within this range. So we're not going to waste our torpedoes, you know. We're just going to wait and see if there's a better opportunity to use them for aerial denial. Again, as you can see, all I'm trying to do is go back and forth and just try and keep, uh, pick a target and try and keep it burning. Once I actually get a fire back on the Missouri, I could actually start farming the Vermont. But right now, since the Missouri's already low... Well, now we can't see it, but... Oh, crap. Uh... We got lucky there. As per usual, in any cruiser that you're kiting and you're kind of serpentining a lot in, you want to be you want to be good at pre-turning your turrets. So as you turn and stuff, your turrets are always facing the way that you can utilize them on. If the Missouri was still up, we would be working on him, but we don't have that at the moment, so we'll work on the Vermont instead. It's really good to keep an eye on your, your targeted, and you want to keep it keep tabs on what is actually aiming at you, so you know who you need to be serpentining for. 
There we go. He's probably going to insta-rep that because double fires. He actually didn't. That was strange. Okay. Now that everything is out of our range, this is where, you know, the benefit of having the spotter plane for the Drake works out because you can get it back. That one is still on double fires. I'm wondering if he doesn't actually have a rep up yet. So our choice here, the good thing is we actually have pretty good support from our team. They're, we have a good band of them across this line. So we're going to push up now a little bit because like I said, we do have teammates. With that Missouri popping out, we will go ahead and use our plane. Where possible, we want to shoot all of our guns at once. Since the Vermont now did rep, and we do have that shot. But since we have plenty of stuff to shoot up from here right now, um, we don't need to be too aggressive. We can just sit here, use the island cover, and, and just farm. There we go. Nice double fire on him again. Well, single fire. We can try and get a double here in a second. Two ships apiece at the moment. Let's go forward. Okay. He's got double fires on him. He's going to stick now. Am I running Hiffy? Uh, I think so. No, I, I don't think I am running Hiffy actually. I think Grunty is right. I don't think I take Hiffy. So one thing you do want to be mindful is making sure, particularly on, on standard battle mode, that you're not getting heavy pushed on one side and you're going to lose like that side to capping. Because the worst thing is, particularly since you are playing a kiting ship, while you're not the slowest ship in the world, if you're playing out on the borders, it does take you time to get back across. So you do need to keep eyes on that. But luckily we have enough stuff kind of in the central part between the Summers, Missouri, Talon, Izumo, and Benham. We don't need to be too worried about that. And there's a DeGrosse over there as well. So that Missouri is actually still sitting behind that island. Well, unfortunately, until this Georgia pushes up, we're not going to get line of sight back on him. Yes, I think I... Mm, yes, I do run heavy HG. I do do that, yes. I can reshoot you the build once I get out of battle, if you would like. Okay. Gotta be careful, because we can see on the map, the Missouri has turned. So, at this scenario, he is close enough that if he pushes forward... So we will go ahead and drop those. I am detected. We know it's not the Missouri yet, because otherwise I'd detect him in return. So I'm going to go ahead and hydro. Because we know the DD is close by. Don't quite know where he is, but close enough to know that he is close by. Now, luckily, the Goliath and the Drake are pretty forgiving if you go nose in on stuff. He's going to catch one right on the tip. Kappa. Oh, actually, I don't know if they have range to get him right there. So that was a big mistake I just made then. Um, I turned too much before he had his shot. And I ate the peed because... Uh, sorry, and I ate a decent shot from him because of that. Rune probably actually has him finished. So I think at this point, we let the Rune finish him. He's no longer a threat for us unless he pulls forward, which is not a good idea for him to do. We're going to go ahead and get AP ready for this guy. Because homeboy put himself in a bad spot there. But we are going to keep an eye on the minimap to make sure the Missouri doesn't pull out behind. Because that will cause us problems if he does. Oh, 
What is the Missouri doing? Never hurts to use your peds to work out where ships are moving. So far, it's just a bad shot. Yeah, and this is where the Drake suffers against what the... Against what the Goliath has, because the Goliath just has that base extra range that you you really have to re wait and rely on the the spotter plane to get it <sighs> is this Yamato gonna let me do this so we're gonna we're gonna be spotted if we shoot right now so that's why i'm holding off right now because I am full broadside to him, he just hydroed me. Now we can shoot, turn in. To avoid getting completely punished by him. Our 12's looking. Maybe get one if we get lucky. There we go. This is where we benefit from having the super heal. With a Drake and a Goliath, you really want to wait until you're like under under 20k, uh, sorry, under 20k health before you really pop your first heal because you you just don't need to. You know, these cruisers have a super heal. Wow, we already have 140k damage. Very nice. All right, so I have Hydro up because we know we have DDs close to us. There is a Don Squoy out in front of us. He's got about 13k health, so we out health him. As soon as he shoots at me, I'm going to turn back so I can get my back guns over too. There we go. There's the shot. Crap, I didn't see the Azuma until too late. I think we got lucky there. Again, our goal is to make sure that we are not in the apex of our turn um, when he shoots. So the moment we see his shot, is when we want to turn. And now we're just on cleanup. We die at this point. It's not the end of the world. But, you know, we're not going to intentionally die. We're going to just stay angled and just fire our HE and be annoying. And not eat the Donskoy Peds. Did that help, Kadoo? We don't need to worry about the cap. We don't need it to win. Now we're good. Oh my god, I will laugh so hard. Uh, a little high. Seen. I thought you'd drop a hey hey smoke eater how are you doing sorry we were um we had a request specifically to play this ship uh to help someone kind of learn how to play it so I was mostly talking through what I was kind of trying to do this game with it
Like I said, unfortunately, Dee Dee's running away from me aren't my strongest suit at shooting it. That first shot really sucked because I figured he was going to turn away, and he just didn't. <laughs> 